Hi everyone. Hi. Today we are making a brand new recipe. It's not yes. even been on the blog. Yes. A brand new recipe and it's a really easy but yummy creamy baked eggs. I've eaten it a couple of times already <laughs> as a recipe tester and it is really, really delicious. Now, I'm not sure if it's just because I haven't been eating dairy for a month. But it is very, very, very good. <laughs> it is yummy. And the thing I like about it is you can kind of put it all ready and then stick it in the oven, have a shower, because it takes about 15 minutes in the oven, and then your eggs are ready. You don't have to stand over the stove cooking them or anything. So if you're in a hurry, it could be a good option. Um, also, I think eggs are just such a good breakfast for low carb. They're very filling. They have a good amount of kind of fat and protein and you can usually pair them up with some other things and I think they're so versatile right I could eat fried eggs for breakfast every single day for the rest of my life some <laughs> people are not like that but I literally no. if I eat breakfast which I don't all the time um, it's usually gonna be fried eggs yes and the, the thing about eggs is like you can have them so many different ways because I know people are like oh I couldn't look at another egg but there's so many different options to um, like include them in your breakfast. Like a few weeks ago, we did our Mediterranean baked eggs. So similar to this, but with like tomato and olives and feta flavors, which is really yummy. Um, also, you know, a frittata or a crustless quiche. Great way to use up any like leftover meat or veggies from the week. You know, you can just chuck it all in you know whisk up some eggs some cream some cheese chuck it in the oven and we've got recipes for like a roasted capsicum and feta one or chicken. A chicken and asparagus but you can you know you can literally do anything you can also do omelets yeah. so we have like that cheesy taco omelet recipe which is uh, so that's like omelet on like you know <laughs> upgraded yeah but you could just do an omelet with anything yeah. um yeah. quite often on a sunday we erica would make an omelet just with like kind of what we've got left in the fridge from yes. the week so there might be some sausages yes yeah. any veg that we've got kind of cook mm -hmm. it all up throw it in an omelet so good yeah, or like boiled eggs. Boiled eggs are great, like make ahead option because you can eat them cold. You can mash them up with mayo. I mean, honestly, eggs. What can't you do with them? Oh, egg muffins. <laughs> We've got a cool like egg muffin recipe. It's got like a little piece of salami on the bottom and a tomato on the top. Imagine if you were allergic to eggs. Oh, I'm sorry. What, we've got, my <laughs> sister-in-law is allergic to eggs oh. and that would, would be very difficult. All right, okay, got? let's get going. So you are going to want some sort of ramekin for this dish because we're going to bake it in the oven. Um, this one is about a one cup one. So that's what we're going to start with. And then our ingredients. I mean, you obviously want eggs and I think that you need cream. The other things you can are optional. I like salted, like you need to season eggs in my opinion. So we'll put some salt and pepper. And then we're also going to put some fresh chives in, but you could pop other fresh herbs or even like some garlic or onion powder or something. But I think it gives it a nice bit of flavor. And then we've got some parmesan cheese we're going to pop on the top. But you could use any cheese other cheese or as well. We just like parmesan cheese is quite strong and not very liquidy kind of it's quite dry um, and we're only using a tiny bit in this recipe so we're going to start with a quarter of a cup of cream and I'm just going to put half of that kind of into the bottom of the dish and then keep the other half and we'll pop it on the top and then we've got our two eggs here so this is one serve this is for one person um, but obviously you could do as many of these as you want as well. So it could be a good way if you were doing brunch with a group of people. You can kind of have all these ready to go and just pop them in the oven. And then, you know, the brunch is already at the same time. And you're not time. kind of like slaving over the stove. Yeah. Or like you can pop them in, be a yes. part of the brunch and then... Yeah. yeah, and it's something that seems a bit more special than like a fried egg or something. So I think it's good if you've got your eggs to kind of crack them into something else so that it's easy to pop them into there because we want to try and keep the yolks together because we're going for a runny yolk. If you don't like a runny yolk, you're probably going to want to cook it a little bit longer. So now I'm just going to pop some salt and pepper onto the egg 
So I was just thinking, this must be like, we haven't worked out the macros on this recipe yet, but it's got to be pretty low. Pretty low carb. carb. Yeah, so it yeah. would just be the carbs from the egg and the cream. And the cheese. And the cheese. But um, So I've put some salt and pepper on here. I've got some chives. It's really just about half a teaspoon. It's just, it, it really gives it a nice flavour. And we have these in the garden, so that's nice. Um, then I'm going to pop on the rest of the cream. Really makes it super creamy, decadent, and mm -hmm. delicious. And then we're just putting about 10 grams of Parmesan cheese on the top. So it's not a lot of cheese, probably a couple of teaspoons would be about 10 grams. There we go. That's how easy it is to put together. So now we're going to pop it in the oven. We've got the oven at, preheated at 180 degrees Celsius, which is 350 Fahrenheit. We're going to pop it in and it takes about 15 minutes, but you do want to keep an eye on it because we do want the yolk to be just set and the, sorry, the white, the white to be just set and the yolk to still be runny because also when you take it out of the oven because it's in this kind of um, ramekin it will keep cooking so you can't really get it out and set it aside if you want a runny yolk so let's pop it in the oven okay and you can smell it our egg is out of the oven now it's gonna look a little bit like you don't want it to be set hard like a frittata or anything it's still gonna look a little bit wobbly because it's got the cream in it so just be careful, transfer it onto a plate, yeah. and then tuck in. <laughs> the smell of the chives and the parmesan. And the, and the egg. Yeah. You can kind of even smell yeah. the egg. It smells really good. I want to try and find the... There it is. See, the egg is, the egg is runny. The yolk mm. and it's like it looks like it might look a little bit watery but it's not the white that's not cooked it's, it's the, the cream. cream and when you go into it with the spoon yeah you can feel it when you get to the egg yeah. um like you can feel the the firmness of the egg so mm -hmm. it's don't panic about that liquidiness because yeah. that is definitely the cream yeah it's creamy it look at that it, yeah the yolk is great um, you'll get a little bit of yolk that's more cooked and some that's runny, but that is um, really delicious. Um, so creamy. So creamy, <laughs> yeah. Completely different to the Mediterranean baked eggs that are much yes. more of a tomatoey, olives yeah. kind of. This is yeah. completely different. Yeah. And just as delicious. Definitely give this a go. I mean, for us, this would be ingredients that we would have on hand a lot of yeah. the time. So just try something different, you know, even if it's a special weekend breakfast and you could have a side or something with it if you want, but it's actually super filling on its own because of the cream and the cheese. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, guys. If you have, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go and eat my breakfast. <laughs> Bye, guys.